是快乐年，平平安安是如意年，和和睦睦是团圆的年呐、啊，恩恩爱爱是幸福年，欢欢喜喜是快乐。And no hate increase. That's the leader we need more than ever, right? Let's welcome Queen's Bottle President Donovan Richard. Well, good evening. How are y'all doing? Happy New Year! Cindy and Guadalu, did I get that right? That was good, Wendy? Well, happy Lunar New Year, and welcome to Queensborough Hall. It's not just the year of the rabbit, it's the day to remember at Borough Hall as this is the first Lunar New Year celebration of my administration. So I want to thank you all for being part of this historic moment. First, let me start by thanking our amazing co-sponsors, Coalition of Asian American, IPA, the Korean Family Service Center, Korean Community Services of Metropolitan New York, Health First, International Buddhist Progress Society, and Zhu Chi Foundation. Thank you for your tremendous support for tonight's event and all of your contributions to the community year-round. Tradi traditionally, Lunar New Year is a time for family and friends, to come together and celebrate the start of a new chapter in our lives. It's a time to be hopeful about what lies ahead of us. And boy, are we in desperate need of that. These last few years have been full of challenges we never could have imagined. I don't think any of us could have predicted that we would face several pandemics all at once. From COVID-19, we just think today I was visiting a school in Southeast Queens, a high school. And I was so encouraged by the work being done to make sure that we renew our bond as black a hopeful one for each and every one of us in this room and outside. And I have no tolerance nor patience for any kind of hate or discrimination, whether that's in our streets, at a community board, yes, I will remove you if you spew hate toward the Asian community in a community board or any halls of government in the borough of Queens. Bigotry in our borough. We've been working hard these last few years to bring our community leaders and government agencies together to create. Well, again, I know that we'll all be marching Saturday in Flushing, right? Who's showing up? I know I'll be there. So thank you once again for being here to celebrate with us. May God be with each and every one of you. Please know that you have a partner and friend here at Queensboro Hall and a staff that is here to serve you. So thank you, and now on with the program, Happy Year of the Rabbit. Tunian <laughs> Daji. Well, my name is Shaker Krishnan. Uh, I'm the council member for Jackson Heights and Elmhurst, Queens, the other really good place for bubble tea here in our borough of Queens. So, <laughs> our borough president is not going to take that honor alone for flushing. But I first want to say a big, big thank you to our incredible borough president, Donna Richards, for having today's Lunar New Year celebration at Borough Hall. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> the borough president said it so powerfully. He has been such a strong champion for our Asian American community. And we thank you for being yeah, such a strong advocate for us and fighting by our side. With Lunar New Year, the lanterns come out, we clean the house, we make sure that we are praying for the blessings for a new year ahead to rid all the evil spirits in our house too. And it's such a beautiful celebration that really showcases both the incredible vibrancy diversity and beauty of our Asian American communities who celebrate our Lunar New Year. The year of the water rabbit. The energy to be all over this diverse borough 
do this event tonight, and I want to tell you something. The fact that he removed somebody from a community board, it wasn't one of mine, but from a community board immediately is amazing because that doesn't usually happen. So he made sure that someone who did something that was against the, the AAPI community was immediately, immediately removed. And we're very grateful to him for doing this tonight and for being there for the AAPI community. So I want to thank him for that. So give him a round of applause. People in their settings, in their neighborhoods, and that the staff and the programs are done in the languages that people speak. And that includes the AAPI community. So that passed the city council today. Thank you, Councilwoman, for your effort. Support uh, Lunar New Year became a city holiday and uh, federal holiday. Now, our next speaker, Councilwoman Linda. Hey, as someone who um, is a social worker and was serving um, the community on the nonprofit side for t almost 20 years, um, you know, it's, it's so amazing to actually have a seat at the table and have six people on the city council who all have a seat at the table that can fight on behalf of our community. And this is what representation looks like. And the fact that you have people with lived experience in the community who can fight on behalf is really what us trying to build this pipeline in government and even you know folks at the governor's office and the mayor's office I know who are here really representing the community, it matters and it means a lot. And so I'm very proud also to sponsor all the bills that Lynn mentioned so eloquently. Um, but we need to fight for you know education because it really starts with learning about our cultures, which hopefully will keep breaking down the hate and the stigma. It does a lot as well. So thank you all so much. Um, and happy Lunar New Year. So proud to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me see. Um, Xin Yan Yao? <laughs> a lot of pressure. Yeah. How? Thank you. All right, great. Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm really excited to be here for your Lunar Year event. And I'm just happy to be sharing in the festivities. I see all these colors, all these red, all this prosperity. I'm like, I want to soak it all up and like take it home with me to last me for a very long time. I am Vilda Vera Mayuga. I am the commissioner for the New York City Department of Consumer and Worker Protection. And I really wanted to take an opportunity to congratulate you on the new year, but also share a little bit about our programs that are accessible to each and every one of you. We really have programs and services to educate, empower individuals, families, and communities. And we love celebrating the holidays, but more by okay, IRS okay, certified okay, volunteer tax preparers. It's simple. If you feel comfortable going to the website, nyc.gov slash tax spread, you can call 311, ask about tax spread. My colleague Miriam, you can just wait Miriam right there. She's right here. We'll be here. And your family is a big fan of bubble tea. My husband grew up in Washington State, Filipino. But he first, uh, when he moved to New York City, he lived in Jackson Heights. And <laughs> when I first moved, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. I actually moved to New York City two weeks after 9-11. And I actually first lived in Bayside, Queens, and then I was at Regal Park. So we, this is where we started, in Queens, ourselves. So thank you so much. It's a wonderful place. We're here to help you. Please use the services. Please hold us accountable. Please make sure we're doing what we need to do to serve you as New Yorkers. Happy New Year. Enjoy the festivities. I know Tangnaban, the borough president. He, from Mayor Eric Adam, is those come to our Asian community, Chinese community. I was to see him. Wow! This guy so have energy. Only one here. Look at that. One year, how he built this. And then look at that. He had the Megan running the AAPI event. How many people here? So thank you. Now, let's welcome the first performer. Nine in dance, performed by Asian United 
and a cultural exchange council. You can see there's a lot of work in my wear, small warehouse. And this 10 years, because my mom is more than 90 years old, I cook for my mom every night. That's why, that's why 10 years, even how close. I don't know he do, do have energy. He only have one boy. I don't, he don't show me his energy, but he has one boy only. But he show me. Thank you to Queensborough President Donovan Richards and the committee for this prestigious award. As the directors of health education and engagement team, I, Rochelle Ocampo, Maggie Wong, and Yajia Ju are honored to accept this award on behalf of all health center staff who have worked tirelessly every day through COVID-19 pandemic, providing high quality Over there, um, he taught me how to say Happy New Year in Mandarin, but I forgot. I'm so sorry, but I'll learn it by next year. Um, <laughs> first, I would like to thank Megan, who uh, organized this truly meaningful event. So, a round of applause for the Megan work. Thank you, Megan. But I also want to give a huge shout out and. Uh, CEO for KCS Korean Community Services. 
I'm so happy and nervous because this is my first time uh, stand up this kind of big, huge event. On behalf of KCS, I want to say thank you to... We would not be what it is without each and every one of you. Uh, my brother, Peter too, my brother, I say my brother from another mother, uh, Charles B. Wayne Center, KFSC, KCS, thank you. You know, I can't tell you how important it is to have community-based organizations who are rooted in the community, who speak the language of the community, who the community understands, and while oftentimes people say government has all the solutions, yes, we do have to work in tandem So are y'all doing another performance or y'all taking a photo? I mean, we wouldn't mind another one. Y'all was so good. And I just wanted to close out also before we take a group photo and thank Megan. Let's give it up for Megan.